In this video, I will uh, attempt to demonstrate how to uh, create a table um, inside uh, a Microsoft Access database that is uh, dynamically linked to an external Excel file that will be updated by uh, CSV files that were content that was downloaded from a hypothetical um, uh, access, excuse me, source of uh, data from the internet. These are just a sample uh, CSVs that I found to try to do that to show the, the download process and things of that sort. So however the uh, CSV data is a file is collected. Once it's downloaded, it's just a file, and it should be in the format of the original um, uh, table. So uh, we see one here, uh, URL, title, and, and things of that sort. I can actually close this because we don't need this for this process. So let me uh, start with a new one to show you how I generated that with uh, external data. I'd already downloaded the CSV uh, of another file. You'll see it here. Uh, this one was from Carrier, whatever, the site. And uh, I'm going to have it uh, with already some data in it. When we download it, we'll get the same data, but we'll copy it and paste it in here and then show how it will be uh, automatically updated uh, in uh, Access. So let, let's show it here. So this is the, the table um, as it appears uh, in Access right now. This is the table that is dynamically uh, associated with. Uh, this is a CSV. Let's say, for example, that we downloaded. Well, we got a couple new things we want to copy and paste uh, into this one. This is not a great way to do data, but anyway, we save this. So we now have uh, six of these come in here. And it should have updated that. We'll just close it and up, open it. And now it should have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's all the same stuff because we're just using the same things. Um, let's do it again. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, let's delete everything from here and save it. I come back here and it's gone. This is a bit risky, but it did, you know, if it's managed well, it can be accomplished. So let's repopulate that. Save it here. Come to our access, and there it is. Okay. So that's the Dynama, Dynamic uh, Exchange. Uh, it's really important when you do this that the link is established. Um, I found a, a web page. The fellow used some dirty language and putting things into his MS Excel spreadsheet. But anyway, so I'm not going to show you that uh, or provide the link, but uh, I'll give the information here. Um, so under external data, uh, we're going to bring in uh, an Excel uh, file. There might be things that can be done with SharePoint uh, and, and other things like this, but this was one that was kind of interesting. Uh, so notice we have these here. Um, there might be something that could be done with this uh, append a copy of the records to the table. Um, let's just do one where we're going to do the link. And uh, we want the original table. So I've got it under here. So that's the carrier example that I showed that already has some data in it. And we say OK. This is it here. The first row contains that. There's the data that's going to be in it. It's uh, an Excel file, so we're not worrying about it parsing. It's got it uh, just right. There's the, the name of the table once it comes in. And it has finished. OK. So now we can open that table. So here we see it. I'm going to close the delivery one so you can have more than one of these as well. And then uh, to this, um, we should be able to link to reports and everything else. Let's um, let's see. Let's do a report. 
report from that table. Okay, so there's the table. Here's the report. Let's save it. Let's call it a report. Home report. We could do a you know the same thing to go to a query, a form. Uh, well, probably doing it this way, you would either go straight to a report, probably maybe to a query first to clean it up, and then from the query to a report. But um, anyway. Mine is invalid. Why is that invalid? Can't be renamed. Okay, so cancel that. Uh, can't be renamed, so let's just save it. Anyway. Okay. Um, so let's see what happens now we go to our website here let's download the csv so this is the csv that goes with it okay now we have the csv let's come to our carrier one we're going to open um, just happened to have it there because I'd opened it before. Uh, that allows us to open it. This is the CSV. It has the new data in it. Again, this kind of stuff is really risky. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to do one that had a bunch of data in it. There we go. Let's copy it. And our target is the... There's our CSV. Our target is the uh, uh, Excel file. And let me paste here and save. Let's come in here. Didn't refresh it. Sometimes this works. Might have to close it and then reopen the table. Oops, there's the table. Hmm. Why didn't that one close? Maybe because this is... Okay, I guess it won't... Form. Okay, so now it's got it duplicated. It hurts. Right, hilts and hilts. So now it is updated. Did it save our report? There's, there's the report, right? Now is the report got all of the information in it? Now we reopen it. Let's see. Do we get hilts? So hilts. Let's uh, come to the this. Document user. <laughs> Maybe a little too much stuff in this one here, but anyway, just let you see the complexity of it. Uh, uh, report view. Legal is what we want. Let's click on this. Yep, no. <laughs> and stretch it out. It out some more legal name okay let's see what that does save it and go to the report view there you go hilt's moving in storage are we gonna have it in there twice hilt's moving in storage so our report updated <coughs> with the old and the new uh, again uh, what, the only thing that's going to be in this uh, there's probably a lot more formatting that can be done to specialize all this in particular if you go through a, a query first um, and then you might just be pulling things out by date um, uh, start date and end date like we've seen with other things but anyway this is just a way to demonstrate how you can uh, have uh, uh, an MS Excel spreadsheet uh, again, it's destination, it's location in a folder. Um, the the path to it when you do a file save as um, this path up here. If we do this, uh, 
that uh, has to stay the same along with uh, the name uh, of the file, right? So uh, that's the link that's created, and uh, this one is local. They can be web-based or internet-based uh, for other other types of connections, but anyway, you'd have to look into that. But if you're working just locally on your hard drive, uh, getting a new CSV, copying and pasting it into uh, one that you're building, say a morning and an afternoon download of data, uh, the first set would have been the morning, the second set would have been an afternoon. Uh, then when the Microsoft Access database is uh, open, or if it is uh, open, when the uh, target um, table, you know, dynamic uh, table is opened, it's updated, morning, here's the morning, here's the, the evening time, you got a query, you got a report linked to that query, our report, of course, is linked to the table, but we just would, uh, again, if we had a query to this, um, well, let's create one, why not? Okay, so let's close that. Uh, we are on our table here. Let's do create a uh, query, okay, and there's the the table on top that we want to work with. So we double check over here, add that table. We can close this. Then we just start populating down below what we want. Uh, we want docket number. We want uh, legal name. And remember, you can come down here and um, go to the totals. And we can group by uh, the name. Uh, this group by docket number. So if you got the name in there more than once, but different docket numbers, it would do that. Uh, do we have a, a, a rate date? Anyway, whatever you would be familiar with your your things in here. Uh, driver D alert. Let's see. We'll just group them all by that and see what we can get. Uh, save it. Uh, this is a dynamic. Well, let's use the R I R four one one query two. Okay, let's go to our data sheet view, and this is what we get out of it. Right. And so now if we are on that query and we go to create a report, there's what we have in our report by default. Uh, save it. Mm -hmm. uh, the naming of all these things can get a little tricky, but uh, you can get it worked out when it time comes we can touch this this is a lot easier to adjust than the one we had we've got some information in our report things like that save it report view that report can be dumped to a pdf emailed might be ways of uh, uh, exporting it in xml or whatever else that could very readily be incorporated into an email text for someone just to navigate the email itself rather than a PDF that was attached. Uh, but anyway, that's a, a way of uh, getting the information. And any of these, the tables and the queries that we've done can be incorporated into other queries and tables and reports and you know, brought into the SWASH report and all that kind of stuff. So um, all kinds of possibilities. Hope you found this uh, informative and helpful.